Are you an art teacher? Have you ever wanted to integrate technology into your art lessons? Well, I'm going to show you how. We're going to use Google Sheets to create some fantastic artwork that your students can do. We're also going to make it a little bit interactive in lesson two, so your students can change their artwork depending on what conditions they put into the spreadsheet. So, let's see how you can do this. So open up a spreadsheet, give it a name. Okay, so what I want to do, I want to create some kind of picture. So I first need a canvas. So I'm gonna create a canvas that's 10 columns long. So that takes us up to J, so then I wanna delete everything else. To delete it, I can press the Shift key to select all the columns, then right click, and then delete columns. And now I want to do the rows. So let's have 15 rows. So I want to delete everything from row 16 onwards. So let's scroll down to the bottom of the sheet, press the Shift key, select the last row, right click and delete the rows. Now I have my canvas. Now I can do whatever I want with this canvas. I can change the column width. I can change the row height, etc, etc. So the children can manipulate the canvas full of these particular cells. So let's undo those back to the way they were. So I'm going to create just a simple house. So let's do that. We're going to use the fill button. So cell 6 and I'm going to go down to cell 13 and I'm going to choose fill color. Let's make it a red house. Okay, let's put a roof on this house. So I'm going to choose these cells and then I'm going to press the command key and select other cells. There's my roof and now I'm going to go to the fill color and let's have an orange roof. Let's put a window in here. I'm going to put a window in here. Let's make it a light blue window and a window here. So I can continue now using the formatting tools to actually create my picture. And now I can change the width of these rows. And perhaps I want to change column width. Make it a smaller house. And remember, at any point you can go up to the undo button and undo the last thing that you did. Equally, you could redo something as well. So if I want to undo that last bit, I can do that. I can redo by clicking that. Okay, so this is basically how I can create an artistic piece using the formatting tools within a spreadsheet. Obviously, you could carry on and complete this. Okay, so there's my picture. One thing I'd like to do now is I'd like to add another column between E and F because I'd like to put a door in here and I'd like to add another column to the right of column J here because my son is to the edge of the picture. So let's do that one first. To add a column you right click and then insert to the right or to the left. Now obviously we don't want yellow so let's change that to the right colour. And now we can do the same for here. So let's choose E, right click to the right. I can put a roof section there, and then I can add my door in there. Let's give ourselves a purple door. Make it slightly wider. And finally, the last thing I'd like to do is get rid of these grid lines. So what I can do, I can go to view and then click grid lines. And there we have our picture. And then what the children can do, they can copy and paste this into a Google Doc or wherever they want to put it by pressing Command Shift 4. Select the area that you want. That will take a screenshot. That will then go to your desktop, as you can see here. And there is my image. Now check out the next lesson, because the next lesson is very exciting, is how we can change the colours 
of our image just by entering a number into our spreadsheet. 